Today's topic is the mystery of the female orgasm. There are plenty of new sex trends, experiments, and product ads in the market that talk about male pleasure. But female pleasure has always been a hush-hush topic. Even in the 21st century, we are still struggling with ourselves to accept female pleasure equal to the male pleasure. Although there are different purposes, and the fruit of male and female orgasm, the similarities are far greater. The concept of euphoric sensation has long confused researchers as it isn't required for women to conceive, and is frequently not experienced by many women during sex. In any case, researchers in the U.S. have thought of an explanation. Human female climax, they say, may be a consequence of our evolutionary history when the hormonal floods that go out with it were essential for conceiving. Since there are very few sexual enthusiasts who talk about female orgasm and pleasure, the knowledge and information is very scarce. Hence, the awareness levels are as low that men are still struggling to find a woman's G-spot, which is still a matter for debate. Female orgasm is still considered as a perplexing mystery for those who haven't initiated to understand its dynamics. It is time that we take the matter seriously and study the female orgasm. From its evolutionary history to present dynamics of female orgasm, today we are here to solve the mystery and try to answer the FAQs. Since the process of an orgasm is intoxicating in itself, it can blur our fine understanding of the segregation of different activities. Men's orgasm has an alternate agenda to serve they have an orgasm to deliver sperms for the cause of conception. Whereas in present era, female orgasm is only assumed to give pleasure and serve no purpose in reproduction. The roots of human female orgasm are assumed to go back to the mechanism of releasing eggs during sex in the evolutionary past. This mechanism has now become redundant and the female orgasm has got other potential jobs. A research on non-human mammals suggests that the female orgasm in them goes along with the release of two hormones, named prolactin and oxytocin. In such animals like cats and rabbits, these chemical surges during sex assume a pivotal role in monitoring eggs to be let out of the female's ovaries. This is a contrasting event in other variety of mammals that include humans as well, who ovulate spontaneously. This orgasm-linked reflex became unnecessary for conception later in the evolutionary process, liberating human-female orgasm for other jobs. Along with that, the position of the clitoris is also assumed to have shifted in the anatomical position throughout the history of evolution. The topic is still under debate as to whether it has different purpose like emotional bonding with a partner or other associating feelings. But all in all, it is rather purposeless when it comes to the reproductive function. But that doesn't imply on female orgasm being utterly useless or not important. But it has stress and pain-releasing and abundant pleasure-giving effect that is equally as important as for the men. An orgasm triggers the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that gives the same intoxicating effect as activated by caffeine, cocaine, chocolate, and nicotine, etc. This justifies the urge to keep on going back for more sex. If rats are given the choice, their brain is stimulated in such a way by the orgasm that they would choose to starve to death over giving up on their orgasm. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.